All right, so today's project is fixing these bearings. Uh, first, what I'm gonna do is check up the trailer. So once I jack up the boat, I wanna check what's the conditions of the shaft there where the bearings were. See if I need any further replacement parts. All right, first of all, what I wanna do, I wanna clean this rim as much as I can. Wow, look at this. I haven't even loosened the bolts 100%, but look how, that's how I was riding my trailer, like this, with no bearings. This could have caught on fire, this is very dangerous. Okay, first of all, what I want to do is I want to remove this pin right here. Okay, now I have to remove the disc brake assembly so I can get this drum out. Okay, now we can take the uh, drum here. Everything looks good here. I don't see any damage on the disc here. Everything looks good. Now the problem is going to be here. Oh, something's not right in there. Hopefully this shaft didn't get no damage uh, with the bearings go because if something happened here I will have to change the shaft and that's going to be a little bit more expensive and complicated. Alright, it looks like this part of the bearings that blew up in here. You can see here, there's a major scarring here. All right, I'm gonna have to remove this shaft here so I can get it replaced, because it's a little scarred up. It's not too bad, but I'd rather get it replaced. Alright, definitely this was the hardest part to remove. I pushed on WD-40. The shaft was stuck really good in here. So definitely this is going to be replaced with a new one. Everything here looks good. All I have to do now is order a new shaft and order this new assembly here. Alright, that's probably going to take about a couple of days to get it here. Okay, I got all the parts that I needed. I got the new hub. And I got all the uh, hardware here, and I got the new spindle. This is the old spindle, and this is the new one. As you can see, there's a lot of scoring here. So definitely, we do not want to use this one, so just got a new one. They're like $30. Since the original got a little bit of scoring, it's better to get a new one. And I also got bearings, kits for all my tires. 
So I'm gonna pack them with brand new grease. I have marine grease here that I'll be using. And also I'm gonna use my grease gun to pressure grease inside the uh, hub there. All right, so first thing I wanna take this out of here, the spindle. And put it right through here. Place the washer and the new bolts. You can feel it as you tie it. The shaft is coming inside the uh, hub area here. I'm going to put the new pin and just bend the ends. All right, that's done. It is very important if you're going to add different type of grease on the hub bearings here, it is important to remove this grease so you can apply your new grease. Very important. So we're going to repack these bearings. All right, and packing the grease into the new bearings, just gotta keep pressing it until you see the grease is coming through the bearings. Pressure it as much as you can. Get all that excess grease. All right, and then place it into the hub area here. And one thing I want to show you, when I press oil through this nipple here, see that little hole right here? All right, I'm gonna press oil in. The other set of bearings that sits here, so it's very important to put through the grease nipple because it goes all the way to the back. It's good to know that little hole, that's what it does there. And always make sure the seal is placed correctly. All right, now we're gonna put this washer in here and put this bolt here. So you don't want that, that is too loose. So you don't want that, you want it just enough that there's no play on it. See, like that. All right, so once you have it tight enough, you wanna loosen it just a little bit that way it moves freely, right? See that? If you tied it too much. See? There's a little resistance there. So you don't want any resistance. So you want to leave it a little bit loose. Loose enough that there's no shaking or anything like that. See, now there's less resistance. But you don't want to leave it too loose or too tight either. Just like that, perfect. Now that I have it in the right place, I'm gonna drive the pin in. There you go. That way you don't mess up the uh, grease nipple. Now I have the cap, I remove the rubber. All right, so what I gotta do is I gotta fill this up with grease. You're gonna start seeing the grease being filled in the cap there. There it is, you see the grease is coming back up. Not to leave a lot of grease here because grease does expand. So you don't wanna leave a lot of grease here in the nipple area. Just leave a little bit of space because the grease will expand. So now that we have this greased, I'm gonna put it in here. Now we can put this brake assembly back on. I would like to place some anti-siege lubricant right where these bolts go. 
because it really helps you remove it later on. If you don't do that, they get sealed shut with the rust. So it's always good to put a little bit on anti siege. And I did this about a year ago and it worked perfect. All right, I'm gonna put the brake pads on. All right, that's it. All right, now I can put the rim back on. All right, so now the tire has a new spindle, um, also a new hub. So that's gonna be work perfect now because everything is new on that axle there. The other ones are okay. And I got three brand new bearing kits for the other three tires. That way all the tires have new bearings and grease pack into them. So this is gonna be perfect because I believe doing this, this is not gonna happen again. And every year what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take grease out of all the hubs and inspects the bearings and add new grease every year and i'm always inspecting that there's grease on the bearings and the tire pressures are good that is a must on every trip that i take if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up on how to maintain your trailer so you don't get any bearings blow out like i happened to me so taking care of your bearings with fresh new grease it's going to help you your longevity of your trailer so it's very important um, to do that at least once a year and please do maintain your trailers because this is the most important part of boating Because not just sinking the boat is important too But you can cause an accident on the road or you can be stranded out there even though you have AAA or you have any services out there um, The inconvenience is going to take you several hours uh, Delays when you can avoid this and plus if you have a deadline to go to a trip You're going to ruin your trip Thanks for watching. Navigate safe.